Football is a religion, and football fans worship the players that are no less than demigods to them. In support, there are banners, flares, chants, and much more which keeps the team going, but sometimes things can get a little out of hand. Recently, a Coke bottle was kicked into space by a prolific striker, which prompted us to know, what are the 10 weirdest things that have been thrown into the football pitch? At number 1, a pig's head. Yes, you heard that right, a pig's head was thrown onto the pitch, amongst many other things at the Camp Nou. Real Madrid visited Barcelona at their home turf, but the ruckus was caused because of one superstar, Louis Figo. Figo played for Barcelona, but joined their white-shirted rivals. Well, the hate for him by the Blaugrana fans produced one of the most dramatic evenings in Spanish football, where a pig's head landed onto the Camp Nou. To be honest, more than Figo, we feel sorry for the pig. Coming in at number two, dead rats. Yeah. FC Copenhagen's Ludwig Augustinsson could not believe his eyes when four dead rodents were thrown at him and his teammate by a Bromby fan. We mean it, it's pretty difficult to play football when there are dead rats blocking the ball and that's exactly what happened when Augustinsson and Benjamin Verbić were taking a corner. Augustinsson told Danish radio, It was 100% the strangest thing I've had thrown at me. You've had beer and coins thrown at you a few times, but this was the first time animals were thrown. It was really disgusting. At number 3, and we hope YouTube does not object to this, sex toys. It's 2001. Liverpool are against Alaves in the UEFA Cup. The score is 4-4, and the Reds are chasing the treble. Liverpool's main man, Gary McAllister, scores from a free kick and made it 5-4. But what happened afterwards is really memorable for him. In an interview with 442, McAllister recalls the night. I scored, had a hand in the winner, and was given a Man of the Match award by one of my heroes, Johan Cruyff. But what I remember about that night was the huge sex toy that landed on the pitch. I was taking a corner in the second half. Robbie Fowler was warming up next to me in front of our supporters, and then suddenly there was a thud. Robbie and I both looked at it, and I said, Is that a... Yes, Gary, Robbie said, that is a sex toy. Nonchalantly, Robbie walked over to it, flicked it up with his right foot and volleyed it back into the crowd with his left. Some way to return someone's private property, right? At number four, and you have to believe us when we tell you this, a scooter. Aren't Italian fans just lovely? Inter Milan fans stole a scooter from an Atalanta fan at San Siro in 2001, smuggled it into the stadium with all the rigorous security checks, and set it on fire. Not only that, they even tossed the scooter from the second tier into the stand below, which was luckily empty. The scooter did not make it onto the pitch, but this has to be the big daddy of all pitch obstructions. Number 5. Beach Ball A 19-year-old Liverpool fan would not have imagined that a beach ball he threw onto the pitch would be the reason for his team's loss. Long story short, Liverpool conceded a goal against Sunderland from a Darren Bent strike in the starting minutes because a shot towards the Liverpool keeper deflected against the red beach ball and the football went past Pepe Reina to make it 1-0. Funny story, the goal stood. The fan did act literally as a 12th man here, didn't he? We hope he went home safe that night. Coming in at number 6, Tennis Ball in 2016, Borussia Dortmund fans showed their protest against increased ticket prices in the most random way, by throwing tennis balls onto the pitch. This was against Stuttgart in their German Cup victory. Although this has a symbolic reference because German fans use the expression great tennis to describe something good. So, throwing tennis balls onto the pitch was an act of sarcasm, exactly what is expected from German fans, right? <clears throat> At number 7, a wheelbarrow. Things got intense during the Copa Libertadores quarter-final between Sao Cetano and America when Quimoc Blanco was sent off. The American striker re-emerged from the dressing room and on came a wheelbarrow from the crowd. This incident triggered the crowd to such an extent that there was a riot after the game and the security forces had to intervene. We guess someone went home without a cart that night, eh? With a, without a car. At number 8, the Coke bottle. A record-breaking 95th Premier League away goal by the England captain Harry Kane led to a celebration that will never be forgotten. 
courtesy of a Coca-Cola bottle thrown by a fan onto the pitch. Kane ran on to celebrate towards the home end when a Coca-Cola bottle came hurling towards him from the top stand. What followed was a work of art, as in truly striking fashion, Kane jumped and scissor kicked the bottle in mid-air, which brought the house down. We're sure Coca-Cola gained many new followers after that moment. And number 9. Baby Dolls Rosario were delighted to beat their fierce rivals Newell's Old Boys 3-1 and they took it a bit too far. In their Primera Division match against Racing, Rosario fans threw baby dolls onto the pitch, wearing Newell's Old Boys players' jerseys. Guess this worked in their favour as Rosario won the match 4-1. We guess everyone found it a tad bit amusing because no action was taken against the Rosario fans. The last one, number 10. Severed Bull's Head Okay, so here's the last one, and this is a little sad and bizarre. German second division club Dynamo Dresden was heavily fined €60,000 after their fans threw a severed bull's head onto the pitch. This was during a cup match against RB Leipzig. This was mainly because fans of German football disagree with heavy investments by foreign companies in their football fraternity and Red Bull Leipzig have been harassed continuously in their seven-year rise into Germany's top-flight football. Well, that's all for today. Let us know in the comments any other such incidents which took place in a match you were watching or have heard of. Leave us a thumbs up if you loved our video, and don't forget to subscribe for some quality content. See you soon. Goodbye.